It's a custom motorcycle shop um, and repair and service shop. Uh, my brother Derek and I own it. Opened it in June of 03, I guess. We're in our 10th, 11th year. We've both had bikes since we were 16, I guess. We both had Harleys as soon as we were 16. Um, and they were pieces of shit, so we had to fix them all the time. Or, or pay somebody to fix them, and that wasn't always in the budget, so that's honestly how it started. My deal, I guess, is the fabrication. Um, custom building and, and all the metal fabrication is done um, by myself on this side. It's a 40 year old frame I'm working on today um, on a frame jig I made from probably a 60 or 70 year old um, scrapped milling machine, you know what I mean? So to resurrect some uh, history like that, you know, if that frame could tell stories, man, what was it doing in the early 70s? It's all about building stuff for me. The, the self-satisfaction, um, that's part of the reason I don't think I could ever work for anybody or for somebody again is because the end product is what fuels me, what keeps me going. You know, if, I'm, if I can't be creative and make something cool, I'd probably get bored and grouchy. This is a 1972, I believe, Harley shovel head frame. The guy had a complete stock bike and wanted to build a chopper out of it. This is what I cut off of it. And then they have a swing arm back to the wheel and then shocks up to here. So we're making it a hard tail like, like they were, uh, you know, for the original pan heads. Harley quit making rigid frames in 1957 so lots of people still want them and this is a it's a nice way to do it and keep you know the original harley pieces For me, it's the pride in uh, taking a raw piece of metal and making something super cool out of it. It's just a really cool little shovel head we built um, for a really good buddy of mine. That bike, it probably took us two or three years to build it just because it did get so out of hand with every part on it was handmade. We finished that bike in, I think it was May, and took it to the Donnie Smith show in Minneapolis, which is the biggest show in the Midwest, and it ended up winning that show. And then the owner of Cycle Source Magazine asked us if we, he could put the bike on the cover, um, which it did. And then he's a sponsor of the Artistry and Iron Show in Vegas, so he invited us to that show. The owner of the bike had never been to a show with a bike. We took it to Sturgis, and he couldn't come. Um, for family reasons and stuff. So it won a bunch of shows down there and he's like, well, I want to go to a show with it, right? So we met up with him and went down to Vegas anyways and put it in another show down there and it got third place. I was guilty of it in the past, sacrificing function for form. And I think we've really learned to meld the two together and have a really cool bike that you can ride the shit out of. And that's what that bike is, so. 
A commission build for a customer is, uh, it usually starts by an email. Um, and most of the time they'll email us about another bike they've seen, a bike they've seen in a magazine, or um, lots of times they'll be a friend of a previous customer. And uh, just bounce a couple of emails back and forth, see if we're even on the same page, you know, roughly what they want. And even if we cheated out that eighth up to the eight inch spacing at the back, um, if you can imagine just rolling it, probably, you know, three of our best customers have never been to the shop. You know, one bike went to Toronto, I wouldn't know the guy if I seen him. Um, but the dealings was great, you know what I mean? He was super happy and it was a, it turned out to be a really cool bike. Um, super good guy and same deal with a couple Calgary customers, never met him, but uh, we've always, uh, it's always been, been a happy ending, so. Because I just got a flat sprocket with no recess that you can flip on that ratchet top and on this ratchet top anyways, which is an aftermarket. We're drawing from a small population base and an even smaller um, riding population, you know what I mean? Just due to the location and the climate. But we knew that going into it, it's where our families are. Um, so we both have little kids and their grandparents are all here. So we're married to this place for a while. Brandon's treated us good. I mean, if, for the market that's here, it, it, it's great. It just doesn't have the volume of market that, that we should be in, but it's where we are, so we're gonna make it work. Keeping the local customers happy with, uh, with the service work and uh, keep building cool bikes. able to do what you love is uh, that's where it's at for me I think I